Polymer fibers are used in many everyday products. Typically, they are very long, heavy molecules made up of repeating chemical units. Polymer fibers have either a natural or synthetic origin. Some examples of natural fibers are cotton, wool, flax, and silk. These natural polymer fibers make up less than 25% of the U.S. fiber market, showing the importance of synthetic fibers like polyester and nylon, which make up the other 75% of the market. Typically, synthetic polymer fibers are much cheaper than natural materials, making them more desirable to use. Also, as with any polymer, the properties like melting point, flexibility, and strength can be fine-tuned to give the desired product. This can be done by changing things like the polymerization method or by including other monomers or additives. Kevlar was invented in 1965 by DuPont chemist Stephanie Qualick while searching for a new additive that could be used in racing tires. The resulting fibers were gold-like in appearance and five times stronger than steel when compared by weight. Since its creation, Kevlar has been used in everything from bulletproof armor to structural reinforcement. Most of its strength is owed to its unique molecular structure, which contains numerous hydrogen bonds. Kevlar remains one of the most expensive fabrics commercially available due to its difficult chemical synthesis and the extensive amount of mechanical processing that is required. Kevlar is used to make bulletproof vests like the one shown below that police officers wear. Next, we will play two videos displaying a dramatization of the benefits of wearing a Kevlar vest. First, we will show a scenario of a man not wearing a Kevlar vest. This time, we will show the same scenario, but now the man is wearing a Kevlar vest. The man walks away unscathed, showing the great importance of the polymer fiber Kevlar. Polyester is a polymer fiber whose repeating chemical unit contains an ester group, which is shown in the diagram. Polyester can be made into thread and yarn, which is used in many things all around you. Lots of the clothing you wear and furniture you sit on contain some polyester. Other things like seatbelts are also made of polyester. Polyester is so frequently used because of its many desirable properties. It's very wrinkle resistant and can be put through lots of wear and tear because of its durability. Polyester also has a high color retention, which is why a lot of brightly colored fabrics, like Halloween costumes shown in the next slide, are made of polyester. The next polymer fiber that we will talk about is nylon. Nylon was developed at the DuPont Chemical Company in the 1930s as a replacement for silk. It contained many features that made it a valued fiber. These features include its lightweight, high tensile strength, and durability. There are many applications in which nylon is used, including bristles of brushes, apparel, musical strings, and much, much more. This video shows a nylon forming chemical reaction. When the two chemicals are combined in the beaker, a white nylon film forms between the layers. This film can then be pulled out as a strand of nylon. Vectron. Vectron is formed from fibers of liquid crystal polymer, which is another branch of polyester. Vectron polymers have outstanding electrical properties, and they are known for their high durable stability, chemical inertness, as well as high physical strength. Due to the material properties that Vectron polymers demonstrate, Vectron polymers are important constituents of protective coatings, adhesive materials, textiles, dental materials, and electronic support structures.